Time once again for the law and you. We're talking about uh, taking something and uh, liability for that. <laughs> Attorneys Greg Fellman and Ed Serimboli are here. They never take anything. Nothing. They, no. they just give to us here. We're law. givers. Somebody took Greg's smile. <laughs> back. Is that what happened? Come on. We got it back. I'm smiling a we, lot more. We put a That's smile on the back of a milk year. carton and we found it. It might be back we out for it. the summertime because it's dock season. <laughs> it is. Almost. It's all, it. all right. Question tonight. Tim and Kingston says, if my son takes the car without me knowing and causes a crash, can I be sued? Uh, if you are the owner of the vehicle and there is not something very uh, explicit in your insurance policy saying that this particular driver cannot use the vehicle, then the answer is, is, is yes, as the owner of the vehicle. Now, the good news is, even if he takes the car without your permission, your insurance is going to, you know, your, and he causes Good. a crash and hurts somebody, your insurance is going to cover that. But what you're talking about is a situation where it, there's a designation of a driver called a non-permissive use driver. It doesn't sound like your son falls into this particular category, but if he did, then there would be no insurance coverage for, for well, that particular crash. Right, and we see this all the time. Yep. So what happens is somebody gets, someone has a car and they get in a wreck and the owner will say, I didn't give permission. Now they're not an excluded driver on the policy. It could be a friend. Somehow they got the keys and were able to drive the car. So we have to defend this all the time by saying, look, that's not really true because, you know, yes, the car should be covered because they're trying to, the insurance company's really trying to deny coverage for the person that they hurt. And as you as the owner, that doesn't help. So, because then you have personal liability. You want coverage on your vehicles, you paid for it, you deserve it. And a lot of times these insurance companies try to weasel out of paying by using these non-permissive policies. You know, they, they, they cite non-permissive user, which we usually find out is nonsense because we always say, did you ever call the police? Usually they don't. Yeah, did you have your access car was to, stolen. Right. Did, did, did you have it, access to yeah. the, you know, obviously in order to drive the car, they didn't steal your keys. The if they stole your keys, you would have called the police. There so you go. These are some of the See questions. See it all the time. Yeah, I mean, they, they can do it all the time. They do it all the time, and, and that defense usually usually does not um, really hold up at Doesn't. all uh, because of, you know, you're going to be able to, to show that, you know, really pokes. And you want to be protected. Owners, you paid for the coverage. You, get, you need the protection. Absolutely. absolutely. To stop the weaseling, give these guys a call. <laughs> check them out online. We stop and them don't weaseling. Forget, results matter. <laughs> Attorneys Greg Fellowman and Ed Sir. And boy, we'll see you next time, guys. You got it.